Brittany and I'm back again with another wig review so today's review is brought to you by Ali Pearl on AliExpress so they sent me three bundles of their water wave hair so I have a 16 inch an 18 inch and a 20 inch and a 16 inch closure again it's in the water wave texture and yeah so I made this, I constructed the wig using the hot glue gun method, of course. That's like the only method that I've ever done to make a wig. And if you don't know how to do that, I have put up about two or three videos on my channel and I will link those below if you don't know how to do that method. Um, it's very convenient as opposed to sewing. The only con is Sometimes when you wash the wig, it can loosen up the tracks and you have to reapply them. But I think it's worth it to save time. This is what the wig looks like that I constructed. Um, I could have used a lot more of the hair in it, but I feel like it still has a really nice like, density. Um, and this is just a regular closure. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna apply it like with curly wigs I really don't even use the lace closure I just kind of take my natural edges out and blend it with the wig and um, that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that Right, guys so I just showed you guys how I apply my curly wigs the other curly wig that I made for my around the time of my bridal shower that that's how I apply the wig I just take out my natural hair um, my edges I don't take out like a whole bunch of my hair I just take out my edges and then I blend it with the wig just using uh, gel and got to be glued um, yeah I just feel like it's easier and it looks more natural than fooling around with the closure and it takes a lot less time to do that so the this curl pattern is very very pretty um, it feels very soft I do think I need to wash this wig though because I didn't wash it after I made it with hot glue gun method and I do have like strands of like glue still in it in some spots but yeah but I do like the way 
the density is of this wig um, with only like two and a half bundles in it. And I think it looks very pretty. I'm gonna have so many like nice options for like summer hair. I think this is beautiful. And the longest length is 18 inches and it falls about right here. So it's not that long. So this could be kind of every day or that would be cute as a short length, about that length too. That'd be really pretty and natural looking, but this looks natural too. I have got shedding with this wig, but of course I used the hot glue gun method and I cut my wefts and that happens a lot with um, that method. I'm not gonna say I got any tangling because it's curly hair. I don't really run my hands through curly hair. I just kinda, I touch it a lot, but I don't like run my hands through it as if it was like a body wave texture or a straight texture. Yeah, I think this is beautiful. So far, my first impressions is, this is nice hair. I don't know how it's gonna hold up. Um, I also think this will be pretty if it had like some warm, some warm highlights in it. I think that'd be pretty too. I just wanted to show you guys how I apply this wig. It was very easy to do. Um, I do have natural hair. I have like 4B, textured hair, um, and that's how I blend it with curly wigs. I just take out my edges, I don't do too much. Yeah, if there's any other information that you would like to know about this hair that I did not answer in this video, comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. For everybody who is an oldie but goodie, thank you for returning back. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, turn on your notifications, because I'm coming to you guys with more videos. So uh, stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. Shout out to Allie Pearl for sending me this hair to showcase to you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.